what's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel and to another episode of farm manager 2021 as our big blue combine harvester is heading out to go ahead and harvest up some of the oats from our large oat field that we have we have kind of did a little bit of change over in our little area where we left off in the last episode where we got a lot of our stuff over here set up um, the barn that we had right here, we did get rid of it and put down two more of these open garages because we're going to need to kind of increase the fleet of vehicles and um, tools that we have to get a lot of our field work done. So we have our cornfield growing, our um, rye, the sorghum, and we have our soya. And then we threw this field in off camera, and this is going to be our hemp. And the reason for it is because there is a 10% increase in sales for hemp and onions for this year. So we're trying to capitalize on this. We have 69 days left on this. So hopefully we can sell some of this stuff here and then make a profit off of it before the end of the year. We're in August right now, the 3rd of August. So let's see what we can do and if we can make some money before the end of the year. So there's a few things that we need to do. We have our research going. There's a few things we need to do over here. So getting rid of the barn was probably a bad idea because we are going to need it because all of these fields, the, especially this oats field here, you can see that the it's leaving up straw and then we're going to need to have a baler over here picking up all the straw and turn it into bale. But then the bales only get stored inside of a barn and then so does the hemp as well. So what I'm going to do, we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab a warehouse and grab a barn and then we're gonna place the barn right over here so that way we can drop off all of our little fancy hemp and our bales into the barn and that should work perfectly fine right there um we have these two uh manure storages right here and i think i want to put down one more i'm gonna put it over in this location over here so that way it's a little bit more instead of them driving all the way from over in this field to come all the way over here to refill the uh their manure to put, spread on the field for fertilizer they can just come right here and get it uh next thing that we need to do is we don't have any storage for our corn so we need to get a silo and i'm gonna grab one of these bigger silos here and i could put this one i could place this one right here but we have a lot of space in this area so I'm going to place this silo right here and then I'm going to kind of dot down a few of the smaller ones. Do you fit? Oh, you do fit. Yeah, I'm going to dot down a few of the smaller ones, not that big one there. Yeah, just a few of these smaller ones like right around here. So that way we're like really, really close by to where all of these need to be and especially over on this side as well. Oh, that thing needs power. Really? Huh? Didn't expect that. I'm going to put this over on this side. So let's go ahead and grab a power cable. Oh, yeah. It's just barely outside of the range. So we're going to place this right here and connect up our power. So there we go. That should solve all of the issues over here for now. Um, I do also want to eventually go ahead and expand out the field. So we still need to clear out this area right here so we're going to have to remove these six wind turbines that we have and then we're going to have to remove these fields that are right over here as well um i am going to um go ahead and remove this garage that's right here so let's go ahead and scrap this and we're going to grab a i mean the mechanic not a garage <laughs> we're going to grab a, another open source garage here and then what i want to do this baler that's right here we're going to repark this and place it over on this side because we are looking to actually clear all of this stuff out right here to kind of get more workers not workers to get more of the um mills in because what i want to do is i want to have one of each of the resource being produced by each mill and we're already producing the corn and we're producing the oats so we need to start growing some flax, some rye, which we're already growing right now, the wheat, and then the poppy. So we need to start getting these other fields in so that way we can start 
manufacturing the resources for the mills and get that off of our checklist we've already done all the production for the milk so that's good we don't have to worry about that anymore so now we just we're gonna need four more of the mills uh we're not gonna do the seed and the seeds and seedling productions i don't think we get a lot of profit off of that so we're gonna focus mainly on the mills for today um also speaking of that we have our smokehouse that we had built um in the last episode the extra smokehouse that we built we do have it set up it's running it has the four people in here so everyone is happy but we are producing the same thing as this one is so i can't believe that actually these three fish farms are producing so much fish that we have enough capacity to actually fill up the production queue of each of these houses um, each of these smokehouses so what i want to do because we, we're going to be fair to the game we are going to switch the production of the um, trouts from here so we're going to change production and we're going to oh before we do that before we do that let's go to our trade and let's find our pigs and we're going to say stop selling pigs we don't want to sell any more of the uh pork meat because we're going to go ahead in here and say change production and get the pork meat to start producing in here so we're producing a one-to-one -one ratio which is actually pretty good that's not too bad so all of the fish in here will get transferred over to some other building it just means that right now i'm probably going to have to sell fish because we have quite a lot of it that's just being stored up um let's see the storage in here we have 3300 trouts that's inside the warehouse and we're keeping up with all of this so that's actually pretty good so we switch that over everything here is good the next thing is we have this warning sign that's right here um and it's going to show the deer slaughterhouse that we have down here unfortunately the four cow sheds that we have with the deers this is not enough to keep up with the production demand from the slaughterhouse so in the future we're going to have to put down probably four more of these cow sheds with the deers because their reproduction rate is relatively slow right now so i did go ahead and throw down another veterinarian clinic right here to kind of help out with all of the uh breeding that needed to happen with the pigs and then with the boars but what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to come over and i'm going to just purchase up some deers for here just to kind of keep everything up on demand or keep the demand flowing so that we can keep the production running inside of the um inside of this factory all right so also let's go ahead and just purchase this one as well it's only 15 it's only 2600 for the deers if we come inside of our budget here for each deer it's 2600 so let's go in and type deer and we'll see we just spent fifty two thousand dollars on deer on uh just the the deers that we just bought right but for each deer we get 55 deer meat and i think we bought uh what 5 10 15 we bought 20 deers 20 deers for fifty two thousand dollars and each of those deers the 20 deers is going to give us um three thousand five hundred right so we can do the math there and we can see that yes we're definitely turning a profit it might be a small profit of around ten thousand dollars but it's still a profit so we will continue to do that and kind of just sell all the deer meat that we have to make as much money as possible so that's what we're going to kind of be doing for now um i'm also going to place down another veterinary clinic in this spot right here um just so that we're kind of prepping for the future so that when we do put down the other four cow sheds over here for the other deers we'll be able to have the staff to kind of go out because right now they're it looks like they're just barely keeping up with everything and yeah so i want to make sure that i have enough staff to be able to do everything that we need and here comes the deers over here and this should resupply the factory so once this one is done this should resupply the factory for them to be able to get a lot of this stuff uh, produced out relatively quickly so apart from that the big thing that we're going to be doing today in this episode 
is kind of trying to utilize a lot of the stuff that we have already going on on this farm and trying to get the best out of the fields and all the crops that we're producing and seeing if we can turn a bigger profit on there without hiring a ton more people so yes we're gonna have to hire a few people for the uh for the the mills that we're gonna put down but that should be about it for this episode and we should make a decent profit off of it so let's go ahead and let's kind of start fast forwarding the game a bit and kind of seeing some of the stuff this field over here actually before we do that this field over here is ready to go um what i want to do i want to go ahead and throw down one more garage right over here and we're going to put down more than one we're going to put down one uh two and we might put down three of these for now yeah let's place three of them for now and let's run a road and get the power and everything situated for this one and we're going to put the power like right here and run this over into this area Ugh. rotate around and get that connected up right there so there we go this stuff here i am going to move it because we're going to clear out this whole area eventually the only thing that's going to stay over on this side is going to be these orchards this field right here would be um converted over into an orchard as well and so with this one they'll both be control uh converted over into an orchard this one this raspberry will probably still be will still remain the same so while we are doing that i need to keep the game paused because i've noticed that when the game is unpaused and we are moving around um vehicles most of the time some weird funky stuff happens and then the game just kind of bugs out like it doesn't really know what it's doing so we're gonna keep the game paused and then just kind of move a lot of this stuff around move this stuff down here and then we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that parking garage right there bring this road back just a bit so what i'm gonna do right now guys i'm gonna run the game along and kind of try to get majority of this area here cleared out so that we can bring in the new um production mills that we're gonna put in this spot all right everyone there we go so we've gotten this area over here cleared out and let me just show you what we have done so we've now moved a lot of the stuff over here that's going to take care of this field and we will kind of expand on this over on this side just so that we have a, a forager that's enough to kind of manage all of this stuff over here and then all the tools to be able to take care of the grass and i don't think we need a baler over here i don't know why i moved this here but I, I might have to go ahead and grab it and move it to another field another location but we'll leave that here for now um next thing that we did over here we did go ahead let me see if we got the tractor back here nope we did go ahead and put down two of the mills right here um and we need to get a road connection ran and hooked up but before we do that we're gonna need to throw down a house which i think we can throw right here which is it's not perfect but it's actually pretty good we could even move it over there but um i think one house is going to be more than enough to, to supply both of these buildings because it's four workers per there we go so now all of this is fully connected up we do want to get the workers for here situated and hired in these people oh yeah i missed this house over here we're gonna need to throw down a house on this side um right there get that built up run the road extend the road down a bit there we go connect that up there and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a few of the people from in here and then transfer them down to this side so let's grab which house number is this this is 29 so we're gonna come here and we're gonna say um you relocate down to house uh 29 so that's one person i think we only need two people over here maximum so that we don't have uh people walking too far and these are all of my um uh, these are all of my drivers there we go so we have two people over here and i'm going to take the other two and we're gonna relocate you 
Oh, hold on. I got to figure out what number this is over here. Because <laughs> we're going to fill this area up over here. And yeah, all the fields on this side is being harvested. Um, they're now harvesting up the sorghum. The uh, soybeans were harvested up, which is really, really good. So we have a ton of soybeans in. The corn came in. And we only have a small amount of corn here. I was expecting another, a bigger harvest of corn, to be honest. Um, will we get another field down before the winter? I don't think so. So I think that's the maximum that we're going to get. So we might need to throw in another cornfield just to kind of compensate for all the corn that we're going to be using here going forward. Um, okay, so at least we have that in mind and know what we need to kind of harvest up. We still have 14 days on this. Um, is this field ready to go? Yes, this field is ready to go. And I think because this field is ready to go, we probably should purchase another combine. The Xena cannot go up to the nine um, meter head like the um, the Radon can. So I think we're going to purchase another Radon and then drop that there. And we need to get a larger head for the corn which is the 12 meter this is going to come right here like that and i am going to need to place down another head for this um for this combine because this combine should be able to come out and start harvesting this stuff up so i think we have a lot of space over here we're going to place that like this and i think we need a few more things which is going to be another chester trailer and place this one like that right there yeah and i think with that we should be good we just need some more people over here this is house 24 so let's head over we'll pull two more of these people from here so this house this area over here is now full this is being harvested up all the tractors are now out and about uh harvesting things up this field over here is being harvested and i think that was this one yes so once that is done we'll go ahead and we will we'll start getting rid of these fields because we don't need these anymore uh once that combine gets to its location and parks up we actually can go ahead now and demolish this field we don't need that field anymore so we'll get rid of it this one there's 21 days left but we can't demolish this field as of yet. So we'll leave that there for now. Where is the small tractor go? So why are you coming all the way over here to come and pick up my Chester trailer, buddy? Hmm. Okay. We're going to need to grab this. And now we can move this out. Drop it right there. So now we won't need that over here anymore because we don't have any more bales over on this side that needs to be picked up. So that should be perfectly fine. And now I can head in here and tell this to drop down the radius of this one. So it's only picking up the fields that I wanted to pick up, which is right around in this location. So now we shouldn't have guys moving around and going anywhere else. Um, let's go and see if we can find some few manufacturing people here to come in and actually start supplying this building and then we are going to do something crazy right now since we let's go into the market we need to produce the flax oh we need to produce we need to grow flax we need to grow poppy we need to get the wheat and then we need the rye okay so right now, we have rye that we can use. But I don't want to use too much of the rye. Actually, no, the rye isn't even in yet. So let's let's actually throw this in and see. So I know right off the bat that for the rye, we can use it in three different places. We can grow the rye, turn it into grain, and then we can turn it into bread. Same thing goes for the wheat. We can turn the wheat into grain and then turn it into bread. For the poppy, 
What's it the poppy? I think the poppy is the only one that we don't do anything with. And if we look at the production, so we can make regular poppy seeds, which we don't want to do. We want to actually make the sell the poppy itself. Oh, gee, yeah, we don't want the poppy seeds. We want the ground poppy, which is going to be ground up inside of the mill. Oh, this isn't even this isn't even worth it here for 200 of this. We get 100 and we're only making an $800 profit for the poppy. All right. So we need to head to the trade and we're going to go ahead and look up our um, we're going to add a trade, not, not look up. We're going to add a trade and we want to add a trade for flax, right? So we're going to purchase the flax in. And then I'm thinking we want to keep, want to buy a total of maybe 2,000 of the flax. So that way the factory can keep up with everything. So once it's dwindling down, they'll constantly order more until it makes sure that we're always at 2,000. And then for now, we're also going to add and the flax produces linseed. Linseed, here we go. So we're going to do this here and we're going to say we're going to sell all of this that's above zero until we can use this in a different um, production. We'll continue to sell all of the linseed from here. All right. So set that to zero. There we go. So the first building here, we're going to say, hey, we want you to change production and we want you to start producing the linseed, the, um, the flax, right? So that's what we're going to have you doing in here. And then on this one, I'm thinking we should probably go with the wheat over here because we can continue to sell the wheat for now. And the wheat seems like it is pretty cheap to kind of um, get around the poppy for us to actually buy the poppy and then try to sell it afterwards. It's not really very beneficial for us because it's only $800 profit. And I don't think that's um, that's very good. Let me let me double check that one more time just to kind of see if I was looking at the wrong thing when I was doing this. So the poppy will be doing 200 of this, right? So 1000 for every. Yeah. So around $800 will be able to make from the poppy. So that's kind of not not too good. I'm not really intrigued by this so for the 200 wheat we'll get the wheat flour yeah look at this so we're taking the 200 wheat and we're going to get 2200 so we're making we're, we're literally making like a thousand dollars extra off of the wheat instead of just 800 so i think this is the wheat is probably the best way to go and then once we start getting enough we can actually start making the bread so we're kind of prepping ourselves for now so that we can start making the the bread from the flour as well okay so this is going to be just wheat oh and it needs to be organic wheat let's go let's choose that there there we go so we're waiting oh we gotta purchase this in here as well so we're gonna say sell wheat flour anything that's above any wheat flour that's above four thousand we will sell okay there we go so we have the wheat and we have the wheat flour. So now we should start getting some kind of production out of here. All we need to do now is kind of hire in some more people. So let's go back to the manufacturing here. We have this person. Oh, yeah, a lot of cheap people here. Let's go ahead, actually, and look at the finance tab really quickly and see for the linseed if we are producing enough. Oh, wow. Look at that. Um, hmm interesting interesting it's a decent amount We're, we are getting a decent amount of linseed in but how much are we spending on the flax so we're spending four thousand on the flax so we're spending a decent we spent ten thousand dollars on two thousand flax wheat we're spending a thousand and where's the grain the wheat flour wheat flour that's oatmeal uh wheat so we're not producing any wheat flour why not wheat flour oh so we only have 900 wheat flour that's why we're not selling any wheat flour as of yet because we are 
stockpiling this up just so we can sell it. Oh, wow. Look at all the, the meat that we have. The pork meat. Jesus. We have a ton of pork meat. We might need to... Yeah, we might need to sell some of that. So that way we can bring some more money in from the pig meat. The deer we're selling. And then the... Um, that's a steam trouts. Should we start selling back some more trouts again? Let's go trouts. We probably should sell a little bit more trouts. Because we might have a ton of it. So let's add a trade item. Let's see. Trouts. And we're going to do the organic ones. How much do we have? We have 27,000 trout. No. That's, <laughs> that's a bit too much. That's a bit too much. We're going to say sell. Anything. We're going to sell anything that's above 6,000 for the trouts. We just have way too much in here. Um, so yeah. So now we should start bringing in a little bit more money. Um from our stuff so we don't have a lot of pig meat just sitting around so we can start selling that out uh how are we doing for milk and everything we should be good oh you still have eighteen thousand storage of milk in here why why pick up the milk guys we have a ton of product here that can be sold look at this yeah we have tons of milk in here that can be sold and they're not picking it up okay that's fine okay <laughs> We'll just leave them to do what they're doing. Okay. So now we can go ahead and say... We're going to do the pairs on this field. There we go. So now we can... We switched over both of our fields. The ones that we wanted to switch over from the oats and the corn. To now to start producing uh, plums and pears. All right. The only one that is left is these two fields over here. Oh, and I waited until the end of the month again for the wind turbines. Well, at least we will get another $6,000 we can add to our bank accounts relatively quickly. All the animals here are good. Everything is being selling. So the farm looks like it is running relatively well. We do have a bunch of bales and stuff over here, which are, are being picked up. So bales, we have 27,000 bales. <laughs> That's so much. Oh, I didn't even set up a sale. Oh no, pause. I didn't even set up a sale for the the hemp. So let's head back inside of our trade and do add a new trade item. And we're gonna say hemp. Let's go ahead and do that. And we're gonna say sell all the hemp. Everything that is above zero. There we go. Now I kind of want to see how much we can actually get for selling all of this oh 86 000. that's not too bad that is not too bad there we go once we say we make a sale we should see a decent profit of stuff coming in here onions we have one day left on the onions so hopefully we should be able to go out and harvest this up hopefully be done and then the workers can go out and start grabbing it please yes i think once we start harvesting it should be fine yay there we go Yes, so even if winter actually starts kicking in, we should be perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, the field won't die because they're in the process of harvesting this up already. So everything should be asleep and all the work on the fields should have stopped. So I can go ahead and get rid of that and then just run the game along. This field should be asleep now, so I can go ahead and destroy that as well. And then we'll just clean up the roads that we have over here. So I hope that you guys have been enjoying all the episodes of uh, Farm Manager. I've been having a lot of fun. Oh, yep. I demolished it. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. Ah, okay. This road needs to go as well. Uh, rotate around. Yeah, we need to we need to get rid of this road completely. So let's pause for a minute since we lost power to everything. Uh, and we'll run you up to there get that reconnected and then we will start getting rid of the wind turbines while we just let the game run on we don't really need it anymore we'll get rid of these this wind turbine should still be in range which is good and we can start throwing down the last field that we need which is going to be this one coming out here and i like how it changes <laughs> i like how this changes colors in the winter, it's blue. And we will come here. Perfect. Now let's get our road, our dirt roads ran. 
all the way across here like so and then finally we will run our main road and i think i'm going to connect this one down here on this road and then run it all the way up to the end of these fields like that there we go so i think what we're going to do uh oh what did i do power we are missing power somewhere where did i disconnect our power is this wire too long um let's get rid of this pause really quickly okay there's <laughs> there's something that is right here it's saying and i don't see it hmm if i get rid of that road nope okay so we got to put the road back all right I, I don't know what's going on but we're just gonna run this oh nope not there we're just gonna run the poles like this up to this spot right here like that and then i'm gonna run it over right there there we go this one i don't know so we're only gonna have uh we're gonna have the wires running like this for a little bit <laughs> all right so the last of the bales are in off of this field which is just fantastic so everything looks great um can i run a road coming down here or is oh i can there we go and we'll run this road coming straight up so that kind of gives access to both sides for the vehicles um i might have just shot myself in the leg with this but i think that's fine that's perfectly fine is there any space we do have space over here for another tractor and we can come over and before we wrap this up here because the video is getting a little bit long we're gonna come over and we're gonna grab the tractor the blue tractor that is inside of this building here pause really quick repark and you will be parked up over here like so just like that and now we have tractors all over the place ready to go I thought we had another red tractor that we needed to put up over there, but I guess not. So let's go ahead and let's demolish this. Don't need that anymore. And this road, this building needs to go. There we go. So all of these workers now are over here. They can come over, grab the vehicles, and then drive them out. Come over here, demolish this one. And then we'll put down the final mill that we're going to need and throw it right there. And we will need another house but first we want to make sure that we get the road ran um, i could squeeze a house in here to be honest i could squeeze a house right here go like this and then run this across like that and then the house we will let's just put it over here away from the the other buildings there we go so we'll run the game get these built up and I think this is a very good spot to go ahead and call this an episode here. Um, this field, I do want to get rid of, but I can't because it has 28 days left of growing on it. Uh, oh, I can't. There we go. Get rid of that. I don't need that field anymore. We'll get these two built up. One is going to be for the poppies and then one is going to be for the rye. So hopefully by the next episode, we'll have these buildings built up and then hopefully get another harvest of the rye in so we can start uh, manufacturing the uh rye flour and then hopefully start using that in something else so i hope that you guys did enjoy this episode i'm gonna see if we can fast forward through we cannot because we still have field work going on where is the field work that we have going on who's doing field work where is the field work going on i see nose oh that guy what are you doing why do you have oh i was about to say why do you have a red plow why are you plowing in the snow ah okay so we have to wait for this guy to be done and then we'll be able to fast forward through i think by the time he is done we should be able to be done and we're getting another seven hundred and fifty thousand when winter ends in uh 66 days so that's putting us up to three million dollars here that's not bad that is definitely not bad we'll run the game on so again i hope that you guys did enjoy this episode here uh if you did don't forget to like share and leave a comment in the comment section below 
if you guys are new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell to get notified of when new contents get posted to the channel and until next time everyone big up on yourself Thank you.